hello guys welcome on here today it's a wonderful and a very bright day out here if you're joining us for the very first time please do well to like share and hit the subscribe or follow button you have been following us for a while now thank you and keep up the good work happy easter guys hopefully you're having a wonderful easter week so guys on today's video we are going to talk about the broilers and the layers which of them is okay for you to hand from your own point of view okay so guys on today's video if you have been finding it difficult to make your choice or to make a good selection between the broiler or the layers on today's video i got your back i'm going to expose everything on here so you can make your choice you can make your decision so guys we're going to start with the broilers broilers are birds with extraordinary genes for the production of meat only these birds range from keeping them from week one to week six week seven eight nine or even ten depend or based on the market demand or size you want to sell at okay so guys some people demand for seven um, about two kg three kgs four kgs depending on what you what your um, your market demands from you to produce so guys these birds when you are about going into this type of farming first of all you don't have to stay very long time in the farming what i mean by that is you don't have to stay very long time for about four months or three months there about you bring your birds day one you rear them for about six weeks or seven weeks and you offload them to the buyers to the market restaurant places eateries and different type of places so the next is layer birds these layer birds are birds with extraordinary gene for production of eggs these birds can lay for about 320 times in a year giving you 320 eggs in a year these birds lays more than a year so guys the next thing is that this bird stays up to from week one to week 20 some week 18 some week 17 depends on the management of your bed depending on the management system so guys in this layers farming there are different sector you know um sometimes your beds delay in production some beds may reach about 22 weeks before they start producing and note take note that once these beds start producing at 22 weeks their eggs will not be small the eggs will be automatically matured unlike the ones given or unlike the ones laying eggs when they are 17 or 18 weeks they will have this smallish this bullet size of eggs so guys so now let me um, bring in the advantages and disadvantages of these birds so first of all the broilers these broilers first of all one of the disadvantages of these broilers farming is that they consume a lot of feed if you are not prepared for the market you can actually get kicked out of the market secondly if you don't have customer if you don't do a thorough market survey getting customer before the expected date of maturity on your beds you can easily get kicked out from this family you have to spend up or you have to eat up your profits feeding them again when you do not see buyer for instance your market target is to raise these beds to six weeks okay so when you've raised them week one week two week three week four week five and week six and you don't see buyers to buy them or the buyers you saw you are not comfortable or okay with your price you can't kick them out you can't sell them at the price you don't want to sell you might run at loss so what you have to do is you have to feed them you keep on feeding them with your saved money or for probably for the next project while you should have sold it out and restock again so guys that is the second disadvantage so guys the third disadvantage is due to their fast growing nature and they suffer from discomfort such as lameness heat stress and metabolic disorder you understand if they are not properly taken care of this is what you might end up suffering from as they grow fat you they are their, their nature to to, to produce meat to the markets very fast their, their gene and hormones are programmed to give the market the amount of meat they need 
in a short period of time so guys i'm going to talk about the advantages of broiler farming so guys the first advantage of this broiler farming is you don't have to keep for a long time you have to, you can offload from week one to week six and your beds are out of the market and out of your pen into the market if you take care of your beds properly they won't suffer from any sicknesses because they are not staying they are not going to stay for a very long time in your farm the second advantage is that if you have made a market survey properly you can go into slaughter and sell by this method you can make much more you will gain much more you'll be outstanding in the market system among other poultry farmers whereby you raise to the market or the table size of your choice you slaughter you froze it and you sell to the market as iced and frozen chicken by this strategy or by this method you won't lack you won't lack or you won't suffer from loss or your capital you understand they're not going to be using your capital or injecting extra funds which you have which you, you should have set aside for the next part so guys we're going to talk about the layers farming now the layers are beds with this type of gene first of all the disadvantages of these layers first is number one you have to keep them for a very long time if you don't have patience you can't go into this type of farming if you are not very prepared you will be knocked out because you probably will keep them for a very long time for half a year they should go about five to six months 18 to 20 weeks of age before you can produce and when they have started giving you their eggs mind you that you they can't start feeding themselves you have to give them for about you have to give them extra one month or three weeks once they start laying for them to be able they should have gotten to 50 percent for them to be able to start feeding themselves you won't be getting any profit at the moment you have to give them some time to lay at least 60 70 80 90 98 before they can be able to feed themselves and retain you your profit okay the second disadvantage of this farm this poultry uh, this um, layer farm is that if they are not properly taken care of they can all die because once they are struck with a particular type of disease or sickness mind you if you don't look for the prevention before the cure it's really going to be hard and it's really going to deal with you because you are going to keep them on the farm for a very long time if you treat your beds depending on how plenty they are if one is left on treat or you have a vaccine failure that bed might be struck to death or it might end up contaminating others okay so guys the third disadvantages of this layer farming is that if they are not brooded well on their day one to the on their day one to day seven or week one or week two they might probably die yes because they don't or they can't retain heat such as the broiler so you have to take or give them more heat source to maintain them because most times the broilers chicken stay less in brooder or less in the brooder compared to the 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 layers chicken so guys i'm going to talk about the advantages of the layers so first of all the layers produce eggs you don't you can just be in a place and start producing eggs and once your bear start producing the market comes to look for you you don't have to look for the market because eggs is used every day yes eggs are used to bake to do some dishes different type of dishes and it's highly consumable the second advantage is is that second advantage is that these birds don't consume feed much like the broilers to consume feed you can keep them for a very long time yes they might it depends on their number though if you keep some of uh, for about 500 birds like i did i feed die most times um from their week one throughout their week one they ate just 
half bag they didn't eat up to one bag and they are weak one so this is an advantage compared to the broilers they are going to definitely finish that feed in less than two or three days depends on your number so guys the third advantage of these layers is that once your beds are done laying once your beds are done laying and you're about to call them you can sell them as chicken to be slaughtered and eaten then you can save your money after selling your eggs you can reserve your money to restock again i hope you got something or you have learned something from this video today take your time watch the video over and over again and make your perfect decision have a wonderful day